so grateful alhamdulillah right now i feel like i'm at my lowest but at the same time at my highest i don't know how to explain it <laughs> Hey guys, mm, I really like it. Hey guys, so I just reached to my place and uh, I'm super dizzy and hungry. After the flight, I feel like the minute I step in Morocco, I'm like, I don't know, my appetite opens up. I'm so hungry, I'm gonna go now um, to buy something to eat and I'll show you around maybe and... I don't know, I wasn't planning to make a vlog, but I think I just wanna talk to you guys today, tomorrow, and update you a bit about everything that's been going on. And yeah, the lighting is so bad. Should I buy, like, I'm, I mean, I'm not asking you, I don't know, no one's answering. Well, basically, this is not a hotel, it's a Riyadh, a Moroccan type of. Um, guest house that has like a center place and then like rooms like hotel room I'm gonna go look for something to eat I'll take you with me I'll show you around and I'll show you also the guest house it's so cute and so cozy the only uh, bad thing uh, is the lighting like I don't have really good lighting because the place where I like to sit is here and there's lighting should I buy a lantern or something Okay, so I had to stop until the event stops. I'm gonna show you now the place. It's so cute and cozy and I don't know, I just feel at home in this place. This was the view just coming out of my room. It is really nice and to be honest, I'm showing you this and I'm prolonging the video so that, um, you know, it's long and it reaches the 10 minutes so that we can be able to put more ads which means more donations honestly that was the whole purpose of this because i didn't really care to show you around like it's just like a home i like the stairs to be honest they were cute everything was cute and like i don't know um the place is called riyadh saqi i'm gonna put a name somewhere here when I edit it, and um, yeah, just keep watching, I guess. <laughs> this is why I'm doing it, like, yeah. Hi, hi, if you're watching. <laughs> now I'm showing you the canvas. This looks like women making, oh, pouring tea. These are two working kids, Berber kids. These are women washing their clothes, I think, in the sea. Now I'm heading out. I was walking through the souk to get to the place where I'm gonna eat and have lunch. The souk is so pretty, it has so many clothes. I mean, it has everything. This voiceover is a mess. But yeah, I reached to the place after a tour guide guided me. <laughs> and yeah, I think I'm gonna start talking now. Hi guys, so I just came and sat here. I was so lost in town. Like, there are so many options to choose from and some man saw me like lost and he was like, do you need help? I was like, yeah. And apparently he was a tourist guide and he told me, I'll show you a place. And Basically, after this clip, there was no more content because I got some news that made me feel sick to my stomach. I literally started crying in the restaurant, but thankfully, the tour guide reached exactly in that minute. And he was like, are you okay? This and that. He made me feel good. He took me to see the city. And this was after the breakdown. Like, I was feeling good. I mean, better than... <laughs> Then what I was feeling in the restaurant, I took some pictures, and what yeah, basically that's it. That's what I did today. <laughs> Ne
<laughs> Here I am getting ready for the day. I make a mess in my eyes before they can look pretty. <laughs> And my eyes were super red that night. I slept really, really bad. I kept having nightmares, like waking up from one into another. Like, yeah, it was awful. But yeah, basically, this is how I do my makeup. This is my favorite step. Mm, the blush <laughs> makes you look cute. I don't know. It does something. I think I put too much blush. I do my lip line with eyeshadow. It works for me, my lip liner stays for longer and then I put lipstick on top to seal it then so I can give it color. Hello guys, so right now I'm heading to have breakfast, I got ready. I'm taking with me this so I can plan something. But right now I'm just fighting this so I can give it for, for the lady that cleans here because my bed is a mess. And yeah, I'll see you tonight. I'm gonna show you around. I'll go have breakfast and do my thing. And at night, I have a tiny appointment with you guys. I know yesterday I told you that we were gonna talk, we we're gonna sit down, and I didn't do it. I was so tired. Um, and something really, really good happened. Alhamdulillah, it was a blessing. I feel so grateful, Alhamdulillah, right now. I feel like I'm at my lowest, but at the same time at my highest. I don't know how to explain it, but you know how after there's like a very, very, very low in life, you spike up. That's what I feel. I feel like I'm in that low, but it's like going up. To my breakfast place. I don't know where to have breakfast. I'm just trying to explore and find it for myself in the old city. My favorite place about Banja is the old town. Hi. <laughs> Oh, makes my day to work in the morning. And just people are so kind. They wish you good morning. And I don't know, I'm so happy. I reached to the place where I want to be. And I'll talk to you from there. Oh, I caught it in camera. That was the man. People are just so lovely here. It's so nice to see how they wish you good morning. I don't know, it makes me happy, it makes my day. Like I woke up and I'm on that time of the month where I'm a bit in a bad mood. And just like getting some sun, getting people wishing me good morning makes me like, I don't know. Big. I got cut off by my tour guide, he's the kindest man. Um, yesterday when I was struck, struck with bad news but as I told you inside the house they were the biggest blessing alhamdulillah they were not bad news they were good news actually I don't label them as bad news um he was actually there and he he made me reflect and was like no this is a blessing this is good and alhamdulillah now he's gonna show me around the city again and take me to the main places and that's it.